There is no victory without a fight. And just because you and I are born again, doesn't mean that we have the victory automatically. The Bible says, he that overcomes shall have the crown of victory. So without a fight, without a fight, you can never have the victory. And I want to assure you that if you commit to one of the words blessing it is to have you one more time on the 100 days of intensified prayer challenge it's a blessing to have you i believe god has done a lot for you and god is still doing marvelous things in your life the god i serve is a god that does not sleep nor slumber it's a god that does all things possible in his own time and in his own season i thank god one more time for your life and I want to welcome you officially to the One Million Strong Global Prayer Community. I believe that it's a very powerful community that you want to subscribe to, you want to join. Let me tell you something. If you have not joined, then you are making, you are, you are just doing yourself a disservice. Just try and subscribe. Just look on the link. Just go to the link on the screen below. And I believe that you'll be a blessing. Our Father, His Eminence, the Archbishop, we're ready to receive you and to have you being part of this wonderful family. God bless you. And let me tell you something else. A lot of testimonies are coming in. Don't hold back your testimony. Just share your testimony on also the link below. And I believe that we'll read it for the many people across the globe and across the world to also see what the Lord is doing in your life. God bless you. And if you have any prayer point, any prayer topic, I mean, you can just send it to us also on the link below. And I believe that we'll take it up and as a family, as a community, we will stand with you in prayer and God will surely do it for you in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Today, we want to enter into another time of prayer, another watch. And I know that God is going to do very, very great things, powerful things in our lives. God is ready to answer our prayers. The heavens are open. And let me tell you, angels are ready to take our prayers up. Our prayers are ready to ascend as incense. And God is ready to come through for us. Amen. Just lift up your voice wherever you are and thank God. Thank God for your life. Thank God for what he's doing, especially in this time and in this season. Just lift up your voice and thank God. God has been good. God has been merciful. The grace of God has really been abundant in our life. Just lift up your voice and thank God. Yes, we started January, we went through February, we went through March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and we are in the last month. Just lift up your voice and thank God. Thank God for what he's doing. Thank God for what he's doing. Thank God for what he's doing. We are, we are entering into the end of the year. Just thank God for what he has done so far. For the many provisions, for the many deliverances, for the many divine escapes. Just lift up your voice and thank God. Lift up your voice and thank God. Thank God for his omnipotency. Thank God for his omnipresence. Thank God for his immortality. Thank God for what he has done. Even in the secret places he has been with you. Thank God for the provisions he has given to you, even in your workplace, for the many profit, for the many increase. Just lift up your voice and thank God. I know the God I serve, and I know that God has done a lot of things in your life. And like I was saying in the last watch, even though we are not where we want to be, we are also not where we used to be. There has been some advancement. There has been some increase. Just thank God for the increase. Thank God for what he has done. Thank God for the many deliverances, the healing grace he has given to you in the name of Jesus. Thank God for the life of the many watchers all over. Thank God for the ministry of His Eminence, the Archbishop. Thank God for even your life and everything that is happening around you. Just thank God for the Bible says in all things you should just give thanks and praise to God. Just lift up your voice and thank God in this day, in the mighty name of Jesus. What a blessing. What a blessing. We, are, we, we want to enter straight into prayer. And today we are dealing with finishing well. 
finishing well. I mean, a lot of, a lot of things you said at the beginning of the year, 31st December last year, you said something, and you said, by the end of 2022, I should have done A, I should have done B, I should have completed this tax. And you see, funny enough, we are entering into the end of the year, we are getting gradually to the end of the year, and you ask yourself, have I achieved it? <laughs> and you are saying that, hey, Charlie, I cannot finish this thing. But I came to announce to you that by prayer, as we enter into a time of prayer, I see the Lord catapulting you to that place to finish well this year, to end the year well. In the name of Jesus, you are not just finishing the year, but you are finishing well. It is one thing to finish, and it's another thing to finish well. In the mighty name of Jesus, many people enter into a race, and all of them finish, but who finished well is the one that had the first place. Today, as we lift up prayer, we are declaring and decreeing that as the year ends, Ends, you and I will finish well. As the year ends, our family will finish well. As the year ends, our business will finish well. As the year ends, our, our businesses will finish well. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, as I lift up my voice in prayer, I declare, let my year finish well. In the name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, as I stand with the one million strong intercessors, glory Globally, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that my year will end well, that I will finish the year well. In the name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, as I clap my hands in my workplace, in my office, in my home, in my car, in prayer, I declare that my year will finish well, that I will finish this year well in the name of Jesus. You finish well. You finish well. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. What does it mean to finish? To finish is to bring a task or a, a thing to an end. It's to bring a mission to an end. And not only to an end, but to bring it to an end well. To an end well. But one thing I see happening to you right now is that you are going to have a supernatural finishing. <laughs> supernatural finishing in the name of Jesus. What does it mean to finish supernaturally? Let me read something to you. What does it mean to finish supernaturally? Hey, to finish supernaturally well <laughs> is to bring a cause or a task to an end at the pace of God, <laughs> at the frequency of heaven. And it's beyond human reasoning. And that is what's going to happen to you. You have had a plan and you decided that this year you are going to marry. You have put everything together, but it is left with your accommodation. You are saying that my year will not end well. But I came to declare to you that by prayer, you are going to finish well. You are going to end with marriage. You are going to end with that pregnancy. You are going to end with that business. You are going to end with that opportunity. In the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. The Bible said, in Luke chapter 22, verse 31, the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat, but I've prayed for you. But I've prayed for you. Even though there's a plan for you to finish well, there's, a, there's also another plan for you not to finish well by the enemy. <laughs> for you not to finish war by the enemy. In Numbers chapter 23, verse 23, the Bible said, Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of God, of Jacob and of Israel, what had God wrought? Many are the plans of the enemy concerning our lives. And many times when the year is coming to an end, that is when the horns of the enemy are, are, are exalted, waiting to do evil. But this year, say minus me. Shout it loud and say, minus me, minus my family, minus my business, minus my marriage, minus my children, minus my ministry, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any demonic projections, 
Any satanic and evil predictions against our life this year, as the year is coming to an end, the Bible said, for no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In Isaiah, we are lifting up a decree that any weapon that has been formed against us today by prayer, let it, let it backfire. Say, oh Lord, as I stand on the altar of prayer, I declare today that any weapon formed against me, any demonic projections, any evil predictions against my household, against my family, against my business, against my children, against my marriage, against my ministry, against the life of his eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, and all that concerns him, his family, his ministry, say this day, as we lift up our voice in prayer, we declare today, let's search a decree, let's search a declaration, let's search a prediction, let's search a programming, oh Lord, backfire, say as I clap my hands, I declare, let's search a programming, backfire, 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 clap your hands, pray that let any demonic programming, any evil predictions against your family, against your business, against your health, today as we lift up prayer, let's search a programming, backfire, 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 backfire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Proverbs, in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21, the Bible said, There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, say nevertheless, shout nevertheless. The Bible said, nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. As we bring the year to an end. Hey, <laughs> check Say, oh Lord, I decree and I declare, let your counsel for my life stand in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, let the counsel, let your counsel for the life of my business, for my marriage, for my children stand in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, let any device in the heart of men by fire, miscarry, be overturned, boomerang in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You finish well. The Lord is going to catapult you to that place where the only thing you say is, wow, this is the Lord's doing. 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 I see somebody. The Lord is taking you to the next phase. The Lord is causing you to finish your year well. In the name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout Jesus. Jesus. Paul said in 2 Timothy chapter 4, Verse 7, he said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. You finish your course. Say right now, as I stand on the altar of prayer, and as I've joined my faith with the one million strong intercessors globally, say right now, I declare and I decree that I shall finish my course. I shall finish my course. I shall finish my course. And I will finish well in the name of Jesus. For Jesus to say it is finished, he meant it is finished. And that is going to be your story. You will say you are finished well. You will say, yes, I have, I have finished well. I have received my portion and I have finished well. In the name of Jesus, you are finishing well. <laughs> you are finishing well. You are finishing well. You are finishing well. In the name of Jesus, you are finishing well. You are finishing well. Genesis chapter 12, verse 2. The Bible said, And I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. <laughs> this is going to be your portion. When the Lord calls you to finish, and not only finishing, but finishing well, you shall say that the Lord has made me a great nation. The Lord has blessed me. 
The Lord has blessed all that concerns me. Say right now, as I walk about and clap my hands in prayer, I declare, let the blessings of the Lord for my life to finish this year be released, 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 be released. In the name of Jesus, <laughs> in the name of Jesus, the blessings of the Lord that causes me to finish well is being released. The hand of the Lord that pushes men <laughs> to the forefront is pushing you to finish well. The Bible says, and when he has taken his leave, the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he had run the chariot of Ahab, even to the gate. Today, you don't understand what is happening, but I came to declare and decree by the hand of the Lord that today, may the Lord cause you to finish well this year. You are finishing well. Many are the desires in the heart of a man. Many are the plans of the wicked man. Many are the plans of the strong man in your home. But today, I came to announce to you that you are finishing well. You are finishing well. You are finishing well. You are finishing well. In the name of Jesus, you are finishing well. You are finishing well. Say, oh God, right now, I stand on the scripture and I declare that by prayer, let any blessing meant for me to cause me to finish well be released over my life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Finishing well is important. Finishing well is important. You can finish, but what does it mean to finish and not finishing well? If you have to finish, you have to finish well. Like somebody said, if it must be done, it must be done well. If you have to finish, you have to finish well. And that is what I came to declare over your life. That today by prayer, we are finishing well. We are crossing the finish line. You and I are crossing the finish line. We are crossing the finish line. In the name of Jesus, say right now, as I clap my hands in prayer, I declare today, as the year comes to an end, whatever it is that I have not accomplished, whatever it is that I must accomplish, say today, as I clap my hands, I am accomplishing it in the name of Jesus. Say right now, as I clap my hands, all the grace, all the power I need, oh Lord, grant me the grace, grant me the power to finish well in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy override any judgment in the name of Jesus. Say right now, by prayer, I declare anything that hold me back and cause me not to finish well by the sword of the Lord. Let such a thing be cut off, 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 be cut off in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You may want to go forward, but there is this string, this line, this rope that keeps pulling you back. That keeps pulling you back. But today, by prayer, let such evil programming be cut off. <laughs> let such evil programming by the sword of the Lord, let it be cut off. 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 Say, let it be cut off in the name of Jesus. Evil predictions. Evil predictions. Many have gone for interviews. Many have gone for appointment meetings. And before you go, the enemy has already predicted how the outcome of the event. And he's saying that it will not end well. <laughs> you will not end well. Right from the beginning of the year, 
The enemy's prediction is that you not end well, you not finish well. But by prayer, let such a prediction backfire. Say, oh Lord, by prayer, I declare, let any evil predictions by prayer backfire, 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 backfire. Say right now, as I lift up my voice in prayer, any evil predictions against my life, against my family, against my business, against my company, against my marriage, against my children, against my ministry. So right now, oh Lord, as I lift up my voice in prayer, let any paterna, 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 evil predictions and maternal evil predictions right now, boomerang, by fire, be overturned in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let it be overturned. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say right now, by prayer, I declare I am finishing well this year. Say, oh Lord, as I clap my hands, I am celebrating my victory. I am celebrating my victory. Clap your hands. Pray. Oh Lord, I am celebrating my victory of my finishing well in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, as I clap my hands in prayer, I celebrate my victory. I celebrate my victory. I celebrate my victory. I celebrate my victory in the name of Jesus. You are celebrating a victory. You finish well. I see you finishing well. I see you finishing well. I see you ending the year with your marriage. I see you ending the year with that pregnancy you have been believing God for. I see you ending the year with that scholarship. I see you ending the year with that contract. I see you ending the year with that ministry. I see you ending the year well in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I see somebody bringing you that money you desired. I see somebody bringing you that good news. If you believe it, shout, I believe it in the name of Jesus. You finish well. You are finishing well. You are finishing well. In the mighty name of Jesus, say right now, as I clap my hands in prayer, I establish my victory. Say right now, I establish my victory. Clap your hands. Establish your victory. Let your victory be established. Let your victory be established. Let the year, let the victory for you in this year be established. You are finishing well. Clap your hands. Establish your victory by the hand of the Lord. Let your victory be established right now in the name of Jesus. Ah, in the mighty name of Jesus, you are finishing well. And not just finishing well, but supernatural finishing. That will blow your mind. That will blow your mind. Last day, I received such a thing, such a blessing. I was believing God for it. And all of a sudden, from nowhere, I thought the year has ended and that I was going to get it the following year, in 2022. But all of a sudden, from nowhere, this is what we call, that this is God's own timing. I received it. And because I received it, I came to declare to you that you too will receive yours. You too will get it. You too, you'll finish well. In the name of Jesus. You finish well in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I see you laughing. I see you smiling. I know you are happy. And I came to declare and decree that yes, indeed, this laughter, this smile is permanent. In the name of Jesus, it shall not be stolen by another. Lift up your voice and thank God. Thank God for this victory. Thank God for this victory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank God for the divine escape. Thank God that any evil programming, any evil predictions has backfired. Thank God in the name of Jesus. Thank God in the name of Jesus. Thank God that any evil predictions has been intercepted by the hand of the Lord. Thank God for what he has done in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any satanic curse the Lord has taken us away from me. Just lift up your voice and thank God right now. Thank God for the victory. Thank God for the victory. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord is with us and you continue to be with us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I'm so happy and I know because deep down my spirit, I see the Lord doing it for you. And I know that you are ending the year well. Any disease that is on your life, 
that the doctors have told you, you, you take it to the next year, 2023. I see it coming to an end. In the name of Jesus, any plan of the enemy for your life to cause you not to finish this year well, I see the Lord catapulting you to the finish line and crossing with you in the name of Jesus. I know that is it because within me, I know what the Lord is saying, and this is what the Lord is doing for you before the year ends, in Jesus' mighty name. Well, go ahead and appreciate God for this time. Just thank God for what he has done and what he's about to do, and the many things that he's already doing. Thank God for him, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God for how far he has brought us, and I know that this hour has been a blessed hour, this watch hour has been a blessed hour for you. I know that many are the miracles that will be coming your way, and we'll be expecting to hear from you, we'll be expecting to receive them. Just send your testimonies. Just, just check the link below and send your testimonies there, and we'll read it, we'll be happy, just as heaven will rejoice. The Bible said, and they overcame by the blood and by the words of their testimonies. Just send your testimonies, and we'll be blessed. Okay, so we thank you so much for joining us. And we know that this watch was a blessing and it has been a blessing. Until we see you again in the next watch, a shalom, peace. Be safe and be preserved by the mighty hand of God. Amen. Do you need to break free from negative life cycles that keep repeating themselves in your relationships and families? Stagnations and limitations in your career, spiritual life or finances? Do you need to break free from spiritual attacks, setbacks, and feelings of oppression? God wants you to break loose and run free with the Nicholas Duncan Williams School of Ministry Binding the Strong Man course. This 100% online course will equip you to identify the negative strongman or force working in your situation, give illumination to the Word of God, and bring spiritual understanding to the evil limitations in your life. Reveal prayer strategies to deal with the strong man in every area of your life effectively. With the NDW School of Ministry, you'll benefit from exclusive impartational video teachings by the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, ministering specifically on strongholds, biblical audio lessons, resource workbooks, flexible study options to study anytime, anywhere. Get started today. Visit us online at ndwministries.org. Get equipped, get empowered now.